General Yakov Amajor, thank you so much for joining me on Upfront. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, after the October 7th attacks, Israel launched a devastating counteroffensive in Gaza. Uh, it caused unprecedented levels of destruction and, of course, civilian deaths. Now, one of the great concerns from the international community, from human rights organizations, and indeed from other nations, has been that Israel has not followed the rules of war, particularly this question of proportionality right now. Uh, for every uh, Hamas soldier killed, there have been at least two civilians in Gaza killed. Does that seem like an acceptable ratio? No, it's not acceptable. And this is why we think that Hamas is making uh, um, crimes, uh, crimes against humanity by fighting within a civilian population, uh, something that is not, not allowed by the international law. The fact that Hamas is using uh, human shield uh, women, children, and old people to defend itself by fighting from their houses and from their streets and don't let these people to go out of the area of the battlefield. No question that it is a, a crime against humanity and uh, Hamas should be punished. And even more than that, we gave the population time uh, to leave the area and we designated safe heavens and Hamas block the way to those safe heavens, so by that, push the civilians into the battlefield. So you're saying that Israel's killing of Palestinian civilians is a war crime committed by Hamas and not by Israel? I mean, you're, you're basing that argument, if I understand you correctly, on the idea that Hamas is using human shields. Now, first, that has not been proven by any human rights organization. In fact, even if what you're saying is true, that doesn't absolve you of your responsibility to avoid killing civilian targets. You can't just say, well, they're hiding among civilians, so we're going to kill civilians. And you can't just say, well, it's Hamas's fault. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, as you know, and everyone can, can see, it, we found the Hamas operational centers and the hospitals in uh, Gaza. So if this is not a human shield, I don't know what human shield is. We have pictures of Hamas. That has not uh, been that has not been proved. That hasn't been proven, sir. No, I, I don't worry. I, 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 my friends wear that, so I don't need your uh, approval. Um, wait, wait, so, wait. You haven't offered the world. You haven't, you haven't offered the world any proof. I want you to finish your answer, but I just want to be clear for the audience's benefit that under international law. Uh, to, to, to change the status of a hospital to a, to a military target, the burden of proof is on Israel to demonstrate that it is a Hamas command center. It's not enough to say there's a Hamas fighter there. It's not enough to say there's a few members of Hamas there. To change the status, you got to prove that. And you can't just say, take my word for it. I, I, just for clarity's sake, where's the evidence? Who's, who, who's, who's, who, has dem who has proven this? Please let me answer the answer. We found under the hospitals Center of command of uh, of Hamas, and if you want pictures, you can ask the uh, spokesman of the IDF. We sent you many of them. We found weapon systems under the hospital, and we know for sure that at least one hostess was killed in the hospital by Hamas um, people. The it's not the only hospital under which there are uh, command command set and control. Uh, uh, headquarters of uh, Hamas. We have pictures of Hamas people going with children around them, so we, can, we cannot kill them. If you want the picture, I will send you. And uh, the fact, and please, and the fact you don't, uh, don't, I, I, I'm not, I, I know that you will not show it. I know uh, your uh, your network, you, you will not show it anyhow. Um, and the, the fact that we are killing uh, 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 civilians. Well, what is the alternative? That we will not kill any civilian and we cannot fight Hamas because Hamas is, is uh, fighting from behind the, the civilians. So the alternative not to kill civilians, meaning the meaning, the practical meaning of it is not to, to kill Hamas. It to let Hamas to rule the Gaza Strip after this uh, declaration of war and atrocities and primitive and barbarian action which was done by Hamas. And you tell me, General, because they are hiding so nicely behind civilians, and you cannot kill civilians, so they will be immune. Uh, we are not buying the logic, and we will continue to destroy Hamas. And if the payment will be paid by the civilians of Gaza, they can apply to Hamas. Hamas is there. Uh, Hamas was elected by them, and they can apply to Hamas 
and ask Hamas to find to to uh, stop the the wine. By the way, if they surrender, immediately we will not kill any civilian. Uh, 44 percent, little more than 44 percent of the Palestinian people uh, voted for Hamas as a plurality in 2006. About half of the Palestinian population right now is under 18, meaning that most people in Gaza absolutely did not vote for Hamas. That's also just factually incorrect. Uh, your vision of security rests upon a military strategy that, as you've just described, will inevitably kill citizens, civilians, and will lead to the destruction of more uh, monuments, more cultural sites, more parts of civil society. If all of this happens, do you not worry that it will only foment more resistance, more violence, more people who have antipathy towards the Israeli government? I mean, there are security and terrorism experts who actually caution this. They say that Israel's widespread killing of Palestinian civilians increases the risk of violent attacks against Israel Israelis. How do you respond to these warnings that what you're doing, that Israel's bombardment of Gaza will actually make Israel less secure. I see that you don't, re don't remember the situation before the 7th of October. Before the first 7th of October, there was a ceasefire. Israel didn't attack Gaza. Israel gave many uh, people from Gaza to come to work in Israel. Israel gave um, economic help to go into Gaza. Uh, not, not, not many people, the... but sure. I mean, I mean, you don't let me to answer the question. But I, I can't allow you to say things that aren't true. Le less than one percent of the of the of the Gazan population had work permits. What, what was the number of, of Gazans who could work in Israel? I'll give you the number: eighteen thousand people. Right. There are two point two million people in Gaza. That's not a large number. Most people in Gaza cannot leave or I I cannot did, enter did, or leave. Did, 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 did I say huge? I, I, I never said huge percentage. I said Israel tried to help to promote the economy of Gaza. By letting 0.001% of people come in. Okay, go ahead. Please finish. Did you finish the statistics, which is not true? What's the because what's the children are not going to children are not going to walk in Israel. Women are not are not going to go to go to, to walk in Israel. The 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 only man after the age of 24 or 30. So, with all due respect, your statistic, please, please correct your statistics. No, 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 you I, 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 I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. do not have any connection to the reality. But let me answer. But, but, stop me again and again. That's fine, right, because you want, you've once again said, some, respectfully, sir, you've once again said something that's untrue, factually. But I'll allow you to continue. I, I, no, it, what is true, I didn't say it's a high percentage. I'll say 18,000 people from Gaza went out every day to walk in Israel. This is a number. If it's you say that it is too little, maybe should we give more people to walk in Israel without the atrocities and the violation of the ceasefire by Hamas? Probably today we had with twenty five thousand. I don't know. Probably because that was the intention of Israel to give more workers to go out of Gaza and to walk in Israel, and we gave all the permission to Qatar and other countries to bring money to Gaza. And the Palestinian uh, Authority uh, sent money to Gaza because our interest was to promote the economy of Gaza because people believed in Israel, huge mistake, that Hamas has some responsibility for the people of Gaza. And by promoting the economy, we are pushing away the uh, plan of Hamas to attack Israel. We made a mistake. Hamas did, well, didn't care about his people. Hamas initiated the war in Israel, declared a war, and by butchering thousands of civilians, women, babies, and raping women as well. So we decided that it is not an option anymore. We don't have any obligation towards Gaza around relating to the civilian life of these people. They can apply to Hamas. We gave them all the opportunities. Uh, Hamas decided to initiate a war against Israel. Hamas will pay the price. Okay, I, I, again, I, I wanted you to finish before I, I offered this correction. Under international law, Israel actually does have a responsibility and a duty to the Gazan citizens. Do you disagree with that? Yes, I disagree because we are not conquering Gaza. We took in 2006 all the Israelis out of Gaza, no one soldier in Gaza, no one civilian in Gaza. None, no Israeli. Who, who, control, who Gaza controls the border of Gaza? Who, can, who controls the border of Gaza? Egypt. You're talking, about, you're talking about the Rafah border. What I'm saying is, 
is that is that Israel controls or border basically Israel has redeployed its troops in 2006 from inside of Gaza to the periphery of Gaza. Israel controls what goes into Gaza and what comes out of Gaza. Israel controls the population registry. Israel controls the, 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 the flow of people and the flow of money. Israel controls Gaza by land, air, and sea. Is anything that I just said untrue? Yes. Which part? Everything that you said is not, is not true. Palestinians Israel does not control the population registry of, of, of Gaza? No. Israel doesn't control the flow of goods in and out of Gaza? No. Israel does not have any military presence on the border of, of Gaza. Between Israel and Gaza, but not between Gaza and uh, Egypt. They can move through Egypt whenever they want. Whatever they want, they can bring. Okay. You're, 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 I, 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 you can go, you can go to, it's very easy. You take, a car, you take a car, you go through Rafa, you go to Cairo, and you take a plane, and you go to Europe. We don't stop them. Okay, sir, I think the international community will be surprised when they hear your words saying that Israel does not control, again, the, 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 the borders, the population registry, the electromagnetic sphere, every part of Gaza. But that, that's up for the international community to decide when they watch this interview. Uh, let, let me take you. Let, it's, a fact, uh, but you don't need any, it's a fact on the ground. If somebody from Gaza wants to go out, they can go to Rafa. If the Egyptians will let them, I don't know if the Egyptians will let them, but it's not in Israel. Any. It's not in Israel. Respectfully, sir, that's a straw man. No one is disputing that Egypt has control over the Rafah border. The, 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 what was at issue here was whether or not in 2006 Israel left Gaza or whether they simply redeployed their troops in such a way that they still control, again, the flow of goods, the flow of people, the, 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 the electromagnetic sphere, the population registry. Every part of, of Gazan life is still functionally controlled and occupied by Israel, which is why the international community and international law suggests that Israel still maintains effective control over Gaza. But we can agree to disagree. I, I, I want to move on to another question here. Uh, if Israel does succeed in its aim of dismantling, if Israel does succeed in its aim of dismantling, or as uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, eliminating Hamas, what will happen next in Gaza? First of all, I think that you don't give your audience the real situation um, on the ground. The real situation on the ground that Israel does not control what's coming in and out from Egypt into the Gaza Strip. The border between Gaza and Egypt is controlled by Egypt, not by Israel. It's only respect but Egypt doesn't occupy said, Egypt doesn't occu Egypt doesn't occupy Gaza. Egypt hasn't had control we, we, we of Gaza, Gaza in, in, in five decades. We don't, oh, we don't occupied Gaza as well. We don't control anything inside Gaza. We are not in Gaza. If uh, you see a situation of 500 kilometers of tunnels under Gaza, if we were in, I mean, ridiculous story you tell here. You, you believe that we would have allowed Hamas to build its military capability if we were in Gaza. It's nonsense, with all due respect. Again, I'm not disputing that you're in Gaza. I'm asserting that you redeployed troops from, from in Gaza in 2005, at the end of the year, to the border. And, and, and you control it effectively by controlling what goes in and out. So I agree with you that you're not in Gaza. The point is, it's an effective control by how you manage the perimeter. But again, we can agree to disagree on that. The world can make its own determination. This is, an, this is an empirical matter. No, no, no. We are not controlling the perimeter of Gaza when it is coming to the border between Gaza and Egypt. We are controlling the border between Israel and Gaza, but not between Gaza and Egypt. Sir, if we were to pull out a map, you will understand that the majority of Please. you allow no, me, you, you will understand you know, that, that the bulk of the border is not with Rafa, is not with Egypt. The bulk of the border that Gazans engage are is where? With Israel. That's number one. And number two, Egypt does not assert military and governmental control over Gaza. Not in five decades. So, again, to pretend that somehow you're not responsible for what happens to Gaza when you continue to maintain effective control as per every human rights organization, as per international law, we see that this is an obvious fact, and you seem to be denying it. But we don't have to agree on this fact. I'd like to move on so that I can get an answer to my question, which no, no, was... No, I don't want to move on. No, I I'm not going to move on. Well, sir, I can't... Sir, lying. sir, sir, I... Because you are lying. No, you are lying. You know... You know that that that, 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 that that is fine, the sir. Fact, sir, you, sir, let's no, move on to another question. No, I don't move to another question. You fine. You, you don't have, sir, I respect that. Sir. 
to admit that the wall there between Israel and Gaza is not controlled by Egypt and Gaza. I understand your, you've made your point, sir. Israel. Sir, I, you made your point. Israel. Sir, you've made your point. If you're saying that you're not willing to move on unless I agree with you that Israel doesn't control Gaza, then we can't continue because that's not a fact, and I won't and I, I refuse to acknowledge something that's not Israel true. Israel is not control Gaza. Uh, I, Israel is not control Gaza. You, you've made your point. Are you willing to move to another question, or do you want to? Do you, are you willing to move to another question? Yes. Okay. okay. You just admit that Israel is not control Gaza, then you can go on. Okay. Well, I'm not. Because okay, sir. Okay, sir. So, sir. I understood. So, sir, I'm not going to admit that Israel doesn't control Gaza. So, I'm going to thank you for your time, Don't admit and I, I appreciate you joining us up front. Have a good day.